Hello, everybody. This is Greg29407, back with another edition of City Skylines. Well, we had quite a few changes since our last time. Uh, first of all, I'm scrolling all over the place. I can see our entire map. Um, I went ahead and utilized the 81 tiles things. I got all the tiles for free, so we can uh, we weren't uh, so blocked in by the, the little things. But I'm blocked in with those uh, different boxes. I tend to build into the box, and then uh, before I go to the next one, it's kind of it's a little bit limiting. So then we can kind of go anywhere we want and, and do as much as we feel like. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I've also done a lot of stuff with our um, um, decorating and things like that. So let's take a look. Um, I did the the circle over here. I think we had this uh, this roundabout over here to connect all these roads. But what I wanted to do too was was kind of beautify a little bit. I put a lot of woods around here, a lot of trees, and I also did this really nice walkway. I had a bunch of traffic building it because there are people trying to cross all the the roads over here, trying to run, walk around here. So I put this raised uh, walkway. You can get over here from these two levels, and then down here as well as over here too. You can do there's a lot of people in here. They're all walking around in there. I also made it using this uh, my traffic manager um, so that people are not allowed to walk across the intersections. So that helped out. So they have to, if they want to, if they're over here and they want to go over here, they're going to have to uh, go up and around. I got a few parking lots here. Um, also, really last time, oh, sorry about that. Uh, last time we put in our, our trolley line. And uh, we don't have a whole bunch of people using it right now because we only have, we, we just crossed over the 7,000 mark. So a lot more on tram line one rather than two. And uh, one and two right on the same tracks. It's on the same line. Just uh, take a look there. It's right around the circle. Uh, the one that does really well is the one that goes around uh, clockwise. And the one that doesn't work that well is the one that goes around counterclockwise. And the reason for that is that we have the trolley on the outside lane and people are more likely to come from over here to go to the trolley line rather than from over here because they don't want to have to you know walk to the street and then cross the busy street and then walk over here and then walk along a long path so what i've done is uh, i went ahead and did a I've, I've kind of beautified this section you can see a lot of people are going oh this is brand this is brand new and there are people already using this I put a nice little uh, walkway for them to go up and over to the tram line where the, the tram stops. It stops right here. So you can just come right over here. And uh, so it's easy for them to get there. I did another one over here at this tram stop. And uh, so we should get more people going. Now, I still don't have very many people at all on this area over here because there's no one living over here. <laughs> that was kind of the problem. Um, so these train stations, these uh, tram stops are pretty much empty. In fact, let's take a look at it. Let's look at tram line one where we have twice as many people. So zero, zero, 59, 28. Yeah, so I've got a, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, of have nobody on it right now. So as we grow, then what I'll do is I'll do some more of the, I've done all these really nice looking trails and everything and nobody over here wants to walk all the way over this way across the street to get on this tram line. So once I start building neighborhoods over here and more things over here and I have some walkways over here they'll make a little bit more sense I think that'll work a little bit better because it's definitely working over here these two tram stops over here are the only two that people are using they use them quite a bit so um, I did hit the oh let's uh, continue going on um, I expanded all this stuff so we now have a decent size uh, commercial area in fact I'm having a little bit of a traffic issue right here sometimes um, I may Put another parallel street here and make that one way going one way and another way um two one-way streets but i have to connect this somehow and i had not figured that one out yet in terms of our forestry industrial area well, this is down because we just sold some stuff but we're making some pretty good money i think for the most part yeah because we, we're generating 66 tons of forestry products uh, 17 tons of paper and 33 tons of plain timber and uh, so that should be doing pretty well and you know this fluctuates up and down we are almost I gotta get some more workers we're almost at level five for this we've definitely done quite a bit of a uh, reserve sold so we've got a little bit more here um, I don't remember if I added these two engineered wood plants uh, recently but it creates more plain timber 
why you have so much of that. Uh, I also added this area over here. Uh, here's our industrial area. I added this section over here. I did this for uh, low budget housing. So this is regular housing here. And then over here, I started doing the little small houses like we did before, which I kind of like. Uh, this is going to be really low cost housing so that these people can go over here and work. I need more workers over near this area and near this area so you don't have to travel so far. Uh, I'll go ahead and expand that up to here and then all the way down here. So actually, I can, go, I can keep going. Uh, the map is. So yes, yeah, so we can go anywhere we want now. Um, so I can expand that a little bit more. And now I can, I'm also free to take this across the river, or basically, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill this area in right over here, get some more housing in here. Then I can go up this way. And I think the majority of our channel is gonna go this way, because I think that this is a lot of land to use up here. This is gonna fill up our whole city pretty good. And I'm thinking also that if I do everything up here, we don't have a whole lot of freeway access. I may go ahead and put in a new freeway and have it go like this, maybe through this mountain, and continue up here so that these guys will have a you know, fast way to get to the freeway or use the uh, city roads on that. So I'm not sure about that right yet. But in the first, in the meantime, let's go ahead and do a little bit of work on here. Yes, yes, yes. as we can see, we have a huge demand for residential. Oh, because I hit 7,000, uh, I can now actually do uh, high density and office space. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna put along this river, I'm gonna make that all high density. So let's go ahead and dezone these houses. I only zoned these houses because uh, I needed to get that 7,000 mark. And I said, all right, I'm just gonna go for it. All right. Generally, I will go ahead and do high density along the river fronts. It generally pays off very well. We can also put in some new roads. Another little road out here. Okay, maybe a raised road here. Let's go ahead and put in some high density in here. That's a little bit underwater, so I need to do a little bit of work on that. And maybe let's do some high density right here too. Let's see what that'll take. Now look at this. So we, we see we got some uh, some watery problems here. So what I'm going to do, where, was, where did I find that at? Where was that? I was playing around with this thing last night. And I said, oh, man, this is really cool. It was with the canals. What in the world? Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Fire. Oh, guess for disasters. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, the quays. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to put in this quay. Trying to block that water out. What I'm going to do here. If I can lower that. Yeah. Lower it just a little bit. Okay. 
then I'm going to do a quay. Got to be close to the water. Hate to lose those lots. Uh, let's try this. Kirby Road here. Okay, I like that. Let's see here. Oh, that's not too bad. Can't put anything there, though. Hmm. Okay. All right, so we can do a little bit of a cleanup on that if we need to, but I think that looks all right. It's kind of junky, but we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can, uh, I wonder if we can lower the land a little bit on this. I'm just kind of playing around with this right now, as we can tell. Raise this up a little bit. To raise it, we want to. Hurry, mouse. Okay. What's that like doing much? All right. Here we want to lower this a little bit. So can't put a lot there. All right. We got a little, some nice property growing there. Oh, water. Let's see if we got some water over there. Yeah, that's... Uh... Okay. All righty. So we got that done. What's going on down here? Bit of a traffic. Oh, we got a, got a bit of a traffic jam there. Shouldn't be. Okay, there we go. All righty. Oh, all right. Let's go back up here and see what can be done about this. So, this is between these two spokes, and I'm not going to. Uh, let's, see, let's continue this a little bit. That's not it. Oh, no. <laughs> Climbed up there. All right. Let's pause the game. Get rid of that. Going to replace our tram.
higher again. I'm going to work on this. I'll be right back. Okay, I got this thing built as really ugly right now, so we use the Move It mod to see moved in a little bit here. I ended up having to get rid of a lot more track than I wanted to. So it's all temporary. Bring it about the right height. Put that a little bit down. Loosen up a little bit. All right, there we go. Make sure that our tram line still works. Yes. Okay, we got to actually have a station right there, in fact. There's a station somewhere over here. There it is right there. Okay, so we'll probably do a little trail over there eventually. Let's see, there's probably a... Uh, Oops, no, no, no. Nobody's on there. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to put some kind of trails and stuff like that. This is some prime real estate over here. All right. Is that straight? It is not straight, is it? Jump into Jehoshaphat. All right. That is pretty straight. Close enough. All right, so. Kind of close enough. All right. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, because this is such a narrow little range, we're going to have a, sorry about that, have some neighborhoods in here and probably some really nice um, houses along the edges here. How's our high end stuff going? Ooh, very nice, very nice. It's kind of getting there. Population went way up. So we're going to want it. So I don't mind connecting this little stretch to this road. Let's see. I want to have limited access to this main road, but I can, I can probably have a little bit. Actually, I could probably do a decent sized road that goes along the edge and then connects down here. That would be kind of good. Hmm. I don't know if I need that, though. All right, let's go ahead and start off with a regular sized road. Let's do like a little, uh, little roundabout thing up here. They look kind of cool. Let's see here. Let's do. My goodness, that looked terrible. Let's 
kind of deform my entire circle. Oh my god, I need to, uh... Darn it. All right. I deformed it with the, uh, the street. Okay, let's try that again. Five, five, five. I know it's five because you can see the blue line it disappeared. Five over. Five, 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 and five. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... This, 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 temporarily, this. And then I will go is we'll have more of the high-end stuff on the outside again but with the high-rise. So I'll eventually come back around to here. Okay, so those are the only two roads off of that, so then what I can do is get rid of these little inside things. And we have a, a, about as perfect a circle as we're going to get. Okay, now what I can do, let's do, you know, we have um, this angle where everything is kind of like this. Let's do the opposite of here. So in other words, this. So we, we have like curves again, but the opposite curves. Get a little bit more of a sharp curve there. Flat, real weird flash thing there. Why does the thing keep flashing? Very strange. A bit of a little odd spot there. Try and maintain that that angle. Let's see if we can make that a little bit more extreme. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like the more extreme version like that. So that's going to be a nice counterpoint to everything else. Everything else kind of goes the other way, and this is coming off this way. Let's do a couple more like that. So how far we do want to go with this? Interesting question. Let's keep doing it, see what happens. doesn't look quite right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how far we go with that. That's kind of uh, is the opposite of this. At some point, they're going to run into each other. That could be kind of cool. If we want to have another row that comes alongside this one, which does make sense. Okay, that matches this other road over here. This is really close to a, a um, one of our trolleys. Good, good, good. Just kind of follow the shape of that. That's not bad. Okay, we we got something going here. Hey, what's this? We hit level five. We hit, we can do pulp mills, modular house factory, and large large tree plant. That's the that's the way to go, man. That's the way to go. All right, this is a good. This is really good. Okay, let's uh, let's keep working on this though. This is uh, this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Let's keep doing this right now, though, and then uh, we will do, I think maybe the next episode, we'll start working on our, getting our pulp mill and stuff. Boy, those large fat, we can, we can really go to town on this now. That's going to be great. All right. We've got a lot more population now, too. This is really good. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is good. Okay. Let's get rid of this little weird curve there. It doesn't look quite right. Like this. This is really nice. Yes, that's gonna be cool looking. It kind of, it kind of circumvents the whole circular thing. See, that this is all like this, and all of a sudden, this is coming in from a different angle. It's gonna go like this. 
All right, all right. This is this is working. It's kind of a weird looking. Maybe. Maybe I should have done this thing. Maybe I should have done it the other way. Hmm. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. We're gonna stick with it. We're gonna keep doing this. All right. Um, so this has been a bit of a long episode, I think. So I think we're gonna call it a day right now. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue working on these roads, and I'm gonna fill this in with. Um, I'm gonna do high density along the outer edge, and then regular uh, normal density for the inside. Uh, I'm probably gonna put some more. Um, I need to get some more um, commercial here as well. Uh, maybe probably along this road or this road to service all of this and all of these uh, houses in there. Um, all right, this is good. So I think we made some some good progress here today. This is very very nice. All right, so until next time, this is Greg two nine four zero seven saying farewell, and we will see you next time.